Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through creating a template in Notion. It's a fantastic way to streamline your workflow on this versatile platform. Whether you're managing personal projects or collaborating with a team, templates can make your life a whole lot easier. So let's dive right in. First things first, you'll need to head over to Notion. If you're not familiar, Notion is an all-in-one workspace where you can write, plan, collaborate, and get organized. It combines notes, tasks, wikis in one app. It's brilliant. Once you've arrived at Notion's homepage, the next step is to log into your account. Look for the login button on the page and give it a click. If you prefer using Google to log into applications, Notion's got you covered. You'll see an option to continue with Google. Select it and you'll be prompted to choose the Google account you want to use. Make sure to pick the account you're planning on using with Notion. After you've logged in, you'll land on your Notion workspace. It's a space where all your pages and content live. In Notion, each document or page can be customized extensively, which is where our template creation process begins. Now to create a template, locate and click on the page you wish to work with. If you're starting fresh, you might be creating a new page from scratch. In this scenario, we're diving into an existing one. Here's where the fun begins. In your chosen page, you're going to initiate the template creation. Simply type slash button into the page. This action tells Notion you want to add a new element, specifically a button in this case. After typing slash button, options will pop up. From these, select button. This will place a button on your page. But a button needs an action, right? Absolutely. So the next step is to click on add action to this button you've just created. You might be wondering what's an action. Well, it's essentially what happens when you click the button. For our template, you're going to select insert blocks. This action will allow the button to insert predetermined blocks of content or other elements you've set up in advance. With insert blocks chosen, you now need to define what these blocks are. This is your template content. It could be anything from a set structure for a meeting note, a project plan outline, or even a daily journaling prompt. Type in the desired action or the content blocks you want this button to generate. Be as detailed as necessary. This setup is what makes templates so powerful. Once you're satisfied with the action you've typed in, click done. This finalizes the command for the button. And guess what? You've just created a customized button that acts as your very own Notion template. Each time you click on this new button, it will automatically generate the blocks or action you've assigned to it. Imagine the time you'll save and the consistency you'll maintain across your projects or documentation. Concluding, what we've done today is unlock a tiny yet powerful fraction of Notion's capabilities. The beauty of Notion is in its flexibility and how you can make it your own. From creating simple to-do lists to managing an entire company's workflow, it scales with your needs. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you tinker with Notion, the better you'll get at harnessing its full potential. So go ahead, start creating, start organizing, and most importantly, start simplifying your work life. Thanks for following along, and here's to efficiency and clarity in all your projects.